I turn now to Senator Dibble. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I rise to a point of personal privilege. Uh, Madam President, uh, this last weekend was a, a painful and, uh, and a joyous uh, weekend at the same time um, as the people of Minnesota, the people of our nation, people of the world, but especially people of Minneapolis uh, reacted to the loss of a remarkable individual who lived amongst us, you know, the artist Prince. Um, and, and we thought it would be fitting to just remember him and his contributions uh, today. I think it has been said that uh, as history looks back on the contributions he made, he will be remembered in the same legion as Aaron Copeland and uh, uh, many, many of, the, of the, the great composers who broke new genre, new ground, uh, and we're proud, of course, that uh, that's, that sound that he produced, that incredible joyous music he produced, uh, came from Minnesota. It's fitting that we start off with this. Dearly beloved, we are gathered to, here today to get through this thing called life. Whereas Prince Rogers Nelson, also known simply as Prince, was born in Minneapolis and raised in North Minneapolis on June 7, 1958, and was one of the most iconic figures in the history of popular music, leaving an indelible uh, influence on the world and on the countless future generations. And? Whereas one of the best-selling artists of all time, Prince was also praised by critics for his prolific original songwriting and his phenomenal multi-instrumental musicianship. He was known as a bold innovator and his eclectic <coughs> flamboyant presence as a live performer, combined with his remarkable perfectionistic skills in the recording studio helped make him into a worldwide superstar. And whereas Prince developed a strong interest in music at an early age, and he signed a contract with Warner Brothers and released his debut album, For You, in 1978 at the age of 19. His 1979 album, Prince, went platinum, and his next three records, Dirty Mind, Controversy, in 1999, furthered his career and reputation as a major talent and. Whereas in 1984, with his backing band, The Revolution, he released Purple Rain, which also served as a soundtrack to the film of the same name in which he made his acting debut, with many scenes filmed right here in Minnesota at the First Avenue nightclub. The album and film were both major triumphs, with the album going to number one, and two of the record singles, When Doves Cry, and Let's Go Crazy, topping the U.S. singles chart. Purple Rain eventually went on to sell 22 million copies worldwide. And? Whereas Prince's winning streak continued into the late 80s and early 90s, as he enjoyed continued success as a performer with Around the World in a Day and Parade, and as a songwriter with a string of hit songs written for or covered by other artists, including Nothing Compares to You, I Feel for You, Manic Monday, The Glamorous Life, and How Come You Don't Call Me, 1987 solo. Prince album Sign of the Times was a hit, and he debuted a new band, The Power Generation, in 1991. And? Whereas he kept releasing bold and innovative music and sometimes confounding his fans and the public, in 1993 he temporarily changed his name to an unpronounceable symbol and remained prolific, unpredictable, and brilliant as a creative musical force throughout the 90s and zeros. And? Whereas... Prince made his home in Minnesota at Paisley Park in Chanhassen, where he could often be seen riding his bicycle around town, and Paisley Park was also a space where he personally introduced his fans to his constantly evolving music by inviting the public to interact directly in his creative process. Paisley Park was a place where Prince collaborated with and celebrated a wide range of artists, from music veterans like Mavis Staples and George Clinton to emerging talents like Judith Hill and his band Third Eye Girl, and... Whereas he pioneered the world-famous Minneapolis sound that brought together an eclectic mix of music styles such as funk, jazz, rock, and more into a synthesizer-heavy creations that got Minnesota and the world dancing. And 
Whereas Prince sold over 100 million records worldwide, won seven Grammy Awards, a Golden Globe Award, and an Academy Award, and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2004, the first year of his eligibility, on, two, on April 21st, 2016, Prince passed away at Paisley Park. Now, therefore, be resolved. The Senate recognizes the tremendous worldwide impact of Prince, mourns the loss of his iconic music genius and Minnesota native, and extends sincere condolences to his family, friends, and fans upon his passing. Thank you all, the Senate. Should we stand for a moment of silence? All right. Thank you all. The Senate is in recess.